What's up everybody and welcome back to the channel. DMZ missions are what we do over here. We're working our way through every single faction, every single tier, but specifically today we're looking at the final mission in tier three for the Legion faction called the Transporter. This mission is a three-parter. All of it takes place on Al Masra, the OG map. And basically the expectation here is for you to go to a location, pick up a charge, and then essentially transfer that charge to the US Embassy, which sits in the Al Masra city and then basically to wait for it to detonate. Now, first and foremost, map placement, AKA where you spawn at the beginning of the map is going to factor in heavily to your success here. Since no matter what, you have to do all three steps within the first five minutes of a deployment. As soon as the map starts at 25 minutes, the timer on this bomb will start ticking down and exactly at 20 minutes, this bomb will explode, regardless of where it is, whether it's in your inventory, back at the tunnel, or at the US Embassy. So it is possible that when you spawn into Al Majra, you might spawn super far away from Zaya Observatory, more specifically right over here, because this is where you need to go to fetch the bomb. So if you spawn super far away from this, perhaps don't try to attempt this. I tried in the footage in the background to kind of make it as hard as possible for myself to see how far I could stretch the, the five minute timer. But the bottom line is whether you're close or far, anything like that, gauge if you'll be able to make it there within the first, let's say two minutes, it's important to do that. And then you'll know what the success rate is after that. Either which way, grab a vehicle and race your ass over there. And as soon as you get to this entrance to the tunnel here, just run up to the bomb as you see lying right there on the ground grab it and then we're ready to start heading over to al Masra city now you can at this point in time drive over there absolutely and that you would basically pick the most direct route and hopefully you don't encounter anybody on the way anything like that however what works really well is simply to go up the tower that is part of zai observatory over here climb all the way to the top of this and then essentially glide from there into al Masra city if done right, you're gonna land super, super close to the US Embassy, and then you can either run the bomb in on foot, or as you can see in the footage in the background here, I actually just go up the main buildings inside Al Majo City, up the sides, and then glide on in again. Now, what can also happen, and in the footage over here, you can see that was the case for me, is this can also be the radioactive zone. The US Embassy can be the place where the chemist spawns. So this is gonna further on complicate matters because there's gonna be a lot more enemies than they usually are and like in the case that you're seeing here as i come to where you need to plant the bomb which is this box in between the two buildings then there could be a shitload of enemies here now again if you're doing this solo you might want to be a little bit more careful than i am here but i had two self revives and i knew that basically all i needed to do was wait until 20 minutes so i made sure to plant the bomb and i kind of like try to make my way out of the uh, out of the area but as you can see here right near the end i actually get down i don't get fully killed but i just wait for the timer to take off and as soon as it hits 20 minutes the bomb goes off and you're done and dusted with this mission so i could have done this more careful i could have probably played it a lot safer but given the parameters i was given and given the fact that this was also the radioactive zone with the chemist in i decided fuck it i sacrificed my loadout but i still got the mission completion so i hope the same works out for you this mission seems to be super difficult but actually is not all that bad and as i said the only thing that can really really mess you up is a bad spawn at the beginning thank you so much for watching especially if you made it this far let me know in the comments down below how you completed this mission some missions in dmz actually get the you know the blood pumping a little bit get the get the get the juices flowing this is one of them i like the fact that there's this timer that you have to compete against and you have this bomb strapped to your back that you have to go deliver i think it's fucking cool and i actually really enjoyed this a lot i managed to accomplish this on the very first attempt that i did it and uh that was with me blundering my way through it and everything like that so if i can do it you definitely can do it but either which way you got this and as always it's just super important to me that you have a fantastic morning afternoon evening wherever you are in the world and until next video fucking cheers